Throughout history, archaeologists occasionally unearth artifacts that defy explanation, from ancient relics with unknown purposes to artifacts suggesting advanced ancient technologies. The archaeological world holds a trove of strange and unusual discoveries. Join me for today's video. Here are the top 15 most mysterious archaeological artifacts ever discovered. Starting with number 15, the Crystal Skulls. Made immortal by a certain American professor, adventurer, and archaeologist, the Crystal Skulls are a collection of artifacts purportedly discovered in various locations across the globe, with no clear consensus on their origins or authenticity. The most famous among them is the Mitchell Hedges Crystal Skull, allegedly unearthed by British adventurer Frederick Mitchell Hedges during an excavation in Belize in 1924. These skulls, primarily made from clear or milky quartz, are characterized by their intricate craftsmanship and anatomical accuracy, often defying the technological capabilities of the civilizations presumed to have created them. Although some sources claim that Mitchell Hedges' skull was discovered beneath a collapsed altar, Mitchell Hedges' account has been met with skepticism due to inconsistencies and lack of supporting evidence. Several other crystal skulls have been reported, including the British Museum skull and the Paris skull, each with its own set of disputed provenance. The British Skull Museum, for instance, allegedly originated from Mexico and entered the museum's collection in 1897, but the circumstances surrounding its discovery remain murky. The composition of these crystal skulls has been subject of debate and speculation. While they're generally crafted from quartz, the precision and polish applied to them have raised questions about the tools and techniques available to the cultures credited with their creation. Some researchers argue that the skulls even may have been shaped using primitive tools, while others suggest the involvement of advanced technology beyond the understanding of ancient civilizations. Number 14. The Lancho Stone Discovered in 2002 during a construction project near the Yellow River in China, the Lancho Stone is a rectangular object made of crystalline material resembling quartz. It measures about 25 inches in length, 16 inches in width, and 9 inches in thickness. The precise nature of its composition remains uncertain, as attempts to classify the stone have yielded inconclusive results. The circumstances surrounding the discovery of the stone add an element of intrigue. According to reports, the artifact was found buried approximately 30 feet underground, embedded into a stratum that, based on geological analysis, dates back to the prehistoric era. This has led some to postulate that the stone is an ancient relic, perhaps dating back thousands of years. Despite its intriguing origins, the stone has not been exclusively studied, and its authenticity remains a matter of debate. Skeptics question the lack of thorough scientific analysis and argue that the circumstances of its discovery may be exaggerated or manipulated. The stone's purpose and the civilization responsible for its creation remain elusive, adding to the enigma surrounding this object. The Lancho Stone is said to possess unique properties, with claims suggesting that it can emit a mysterious energy field. However, these assertions lack scientific substantiation, and the alleged mystical qualities of the stone remain speculative. The lack of comprehensive research and the dearth of verifiable information contribute to the mystique of this stone, leaving it as a puzzling artifact that continues to capture the imagination of those intrigued by ancient mysteries. Number 13. The Newark Holy Stones The Newark Holy Stones were discovered in Newark, Ohio in the 19th century, and they've been stirring a pot full of controversy and skepticism within the archaeological community ever since. The collection includes several inscribed stones, with the most notable being the Keystone, the Decalogue Stone, and the Rectangular Stone. So what is it? Well, the Keystone, shaped like a large triangular wedge, bears a Hebrew inscription that some interpret as a depiction of a turtle. The Decalogue Stone, discovered in close proximity, featuring an engraving resembling a stylized depiction of the Ten Commandments in a script purportedly resembling ancient Hebrew and the rectangular stone. It contains an inscription suggesting a connection to an ancient Jewish ritual. The stones were reportedly found in the 1860s during an excavation for a mills foundation, adding a layer of mystery to their origins. The location of their discovery in the American Midwest, far from regions traditionally associated with ancient Hebrew culture, has fueled some skepticism about their authenticity. Critics argue that these stones could be elaborate hoaxes, potentially created to attract attention or promote a particular narrative. The materials from which the Newark Holy Stones are made vary. The keystone is composed of Black Flint Ridge Flint, with the Decalogue Stone made of sandstone. 
These inscriptions on the stones, purporting to link to ancient Native American cultures with Hebrew traditions, have been met with skepticism by scholars, who find the linguistic and cultural connections improbable. Despite extensive analysis and scrutiny, the question of whether the Newark Holy Stones are genuine artifacts or elaborate forgeries remains unanswered, leaving their true origins shrouded in uncertainty. Number 12. The Betts Mystery Sphere The Betts Mystery Sphere emerged in 1974 when the Betts family discovered the metallic sphere on their property on Fort George Island, Florida, after a fire had swept through the area. Comprising a seamless, metallic surface measuring about 8 inches in diameter, the sphere weighed around 22 pounds. The circumstances surrounding the discovery added an element of mystery. The Betts family initially thought the sphere might be a cannonball from a bygone era. However, upon closer examination, they noticed peculiar characteristics. The sphere exhibited the ability to stop and change direction on flat surfaces, defying the laws of physics. Moreover, when tapped, the sphere emitted a peculiar resonant sound. Constructed from an unknown alloy, the Betts Mystery Sphere baffled experts and scientists alike. Analysis of its composition revealed a mix of metals, including iron and nickel, but the unique proportions and unusual properties remained unexplained. Some speculated that the sphere was of extraterrestrial origin, while others considered it a lost piece of industrial or military equipment. The location of its discovery on Fort George Island added to the intrigue. The remote setting and lack of any identifiable source for the sphere heightened speculation about its origins. Despite extensive analysis and media coverage, the Betts Mystery Sphere remains an unsolved enigma. The Betts family reported that after the sphere's discovery, they experienced unexplained phenomenon in their home, including strange sounds and the sudden movement of objects. While accounts added to the mystique, they were difficult to verify, and it only deepened the overall mystery surrounding the Betts Mystery Sphere. Number 11. The Nimrud Lens The Nimrud Lens, a small, optically sophisticated artifact, was reportedly discovered in the ancient city of Nimrud in present-day Iraq. Unearthed by archaeologists during excavations led by Sir John Layard in the mid-19th century, the lens gained attention for its unusual design and potential implications for ancient scientific knowledge. Measuring about 3 inches in diameter and crafted from transparent yellowish crystal, the Nimrud lens features a convex shape with a polished surface. Its optical properties suggest it may have been used as a magnifying lens or part of a telescope. The precision with which it was ground and polished indicates a level of technological skill that challenges conventional assumptions about ancient craftsmanship. The mystery surrounding this lens lies in its purpose and the technological knowledge of the civilization that created it. While some scholars argue that the lens was likely used for magnification, potentially in the field of astronomy or as a part of a scientific instrument, others remain curious about attributing a specific function to the artifact. The context of its discovery in Nimrud, an ancient city with a rich history dating back to the Assyrian Empire, adds complexity to this mystery. The lens was found among the ruins of the Northwest Palace, which housed the royal quarters of King Ashur Nasirpal II. Its proximity to royal chambers raises questions about the possible applications of such a lens in the context of ancient Assyrian culture. The lens challenges conventional narratives about ancient technological capability, suggesting a level of sophistication in optics that was previously underestimated. The artifact prompts reconsideration of the scientific knowledge possessed by ancient civilizations and the potential use of lenses for practical purposes. What exactly the function of the Nimrod lens is remains uncertain. Its discovery encourages ongoing research into ancient optics and challenges preconceptions about the achievements of early societies. Number 10. Giant Stone Spheres of Bosnia The Giant Stone Spheres of Bosnia, a collection of massive spherical stones scattered across the hills of Visoko, Bosnia, has become a subject of fascination and debate in archaeological circles. Discovered by Bosnian researcher Samir Osmanagic in 2005, these colossal stone spheres range in size from a few inches to over 10 feet in diameter. What makes these spheres special is their sheer size and uniformity. Carved from a type of igneous rock known as andesite, the precision with which these spheres were shaped challenges preconceived notions about the capability of ancient civilizations. Some enthusiasts and Osmanagic himself has proposed that the spheres are evidence of an advanced ancient civilization with ancient knowledge of advanced engineering and geopolymer technology. 
However, the uniqueness of the giant stone spheres also lies in the skepticism and controversy surrounding their interpretation. Mainstream archaeologists remain unconvinced that the spheres were intentionally carved by human hands. Instead, they attribute their rounded shapes to natural geological processes, such as concretion, where minerals gradually accumulate around a core. Adding to this intrigue is the purported alignment of some of these spheres with cosmic phenomena. Osmanagic has suggested that the spheres may have an astronomical significance, pointing to their positioning in relation to the constellations. While this hypothesis adds a layer of mystery and speculation, it is met with skepticism among many in the scientific community. These giant stones of Bosnia, with their unusual size, uniformity, and disputed origin, create an enigma that captures imagination. The ongoing debate and the unconventional theories surrounding them make them a subject of both serious inquiry and occasional amusement. Whether considered as remnants of an ancient civilization or products of natural processes, the giant stone spheres of Bosnia continue to stand as oversized curiosities that challenge our understanding of the past prompting a mix of excitement and skepticism in the world of archaeology. Number 9. The London Hammer The London Hammer, a seemingly ordinary tool encased in controversy, is not just any hammer, it's a time-defying anomaly. Discovered in 1936 in London, Texas, the hammer is embedded in a 400 million year old rock formation, raising eyebrows and challenging the conventional understanding of geology and history. This intriguing artifact appears to be a robust iron hammerhead attached to a wooden handle, a design familiar in modern times. What makes it extraordinary is its alleged age, suggesting that advanced tools existed far earlier than previously thought. The geological context of the discovery places the hammer in the rocks dating back eons before humans are believed to have developed such advanced metallurgical skills. The mystery surrounding the London Hammer centers on how a seemingly modern tool could find itself nestled in ancient geological strata. Skeptics propose that the hammer may have been left behind by a more recent miner, or that natural processes could have led to its encasement in the rock. However, the counter-argument suggests that the rock's age is genuinely ancient, challenging established scientific timelines. The London Hammer has become a symbol of contention within both archaeological and creationist circles, with some claiming it as evidence of an anachronistic artifact that defy conventional timelines, while mainstream archaeologists maintain skepticism. Proponents of alternative theories argue that the hammer challenges the rigid boundaries of historical understanding. What makes the London Hammer cool is not just its physical appearance or the craftsmanship of its construction, but the whirlwind of speculation and debate it has ignited. This seemingly out-of-place artifact suspended in geological time serves as a conversation starter about the mysteries of our planet's history. Whether a genuine archaeological anomaly or a peculiar geological quirk, the London Hammer sparks excitement, challenges assumptions, and keeps the fires of curiosity burning in the realm where archaeology and unexplained phenomena intersect. Eat your heart out, Thor. Number 8. The Koso Artifact the Koso artifact entered the spotlight in 1961, when three rock hunters stumbled upon an object unlike anything they expected in the California desert near Olancha. The artifact, encased in a geode-like rock, became a focal point of debate and speculation due to its seemingly out-of-place nature. At first glance, this artifact appears to be a spark plug, an ordinary item with little mystery attached. However, the intrigue deepens when considering the geological context in which it was found. The rock in which the artifact is embedded dates back to the Pliocene era, a time period stretching from 5.3 to 2.6 million years ago. This temporal incongruity challenges conventional understanding of human history and technological development. The artifact itself is a spark plug with an unusual composition, featuring a porcelain-like insulator encasing a metal core. What makes this discovery significant is the geological age of the rock formation in which it was found, suggesting the presence of advanced human technology in a time when such sophistication is thought to have been absent. Theories surrounding this artifact abound, each contributing to the mystique surrounding this anachronistic discovery. Some propose that the artifact is evidence of advanced ancient civilizations predating known human history, potentially challenging the linear progression of technological development. 
Others suggest the possibility of time travel, proposing that the spark plug might have been inadvertently left behind by a visitor from the future. Skeptics argue that the artifact may have fallen into a crack in the rock in more recent times, explaining its presence in a geologically ancient strata. They point to the lack of surrounding archaeological context or corroborating evidence to support claims of advanced technology. Moving on to number 7, the Dropa Stones. The Dropa Stones, discovered in the Bayan Karaula Mountains in China in 1938, are some of the most unique artifacts around. These ancient relics consist of disc-shaped stones, approximately 12 inches in diameter, with central holes and grooves spiraling outwards, resembling ancient vinyl records. The stones are said to have been found in a cave, attributed to a group called the Dropa, or the Drozpa people. The mystery deepens with the discovery of intricate markings etched onto the surfaces of these stones. Now, these markings, resembling hieroglyphs, purportedly tell the story of the Dropa people, a tale of extraterrestrial origins and their crash landing on Earth. Chinese scientist Dr. Sum Unui claimed to have deciphered these markings, although skepticism surrounding the legitimacy of his translation. The provenance of these stones add to this enigma, found in a region known for its remote and challenging terrain. The stone's discovery raised questions about how such artifacts came to be in this isolated location. The narrative of the Dropa people, described as a diminutive extraterrestrial race, challenges archaeological and historical paradigms. Skeptics argue that the markings on the stone may be the result of natural processes or unintentional damage over time, questioning the authenticity. The lack of widely accepted translations and the controversial nature of the discovery contributes to debates within archaeological and scientific communities. The narrative, if accepted, would redefine our understanding of human origins and interactions with beings beyond Earth. However, the lack of concrete evidence and the disputed translations have led many to view the Dropa Stones with skepticism, raising questions about their true nature and origin. Number 6. The Phaistos Disc the Phaistos Disc, a unique and mysterious artifact from the ancient world, stands as a testament to the puzzles that continue to challenge our understanding of history. Discovered in 1908 by Italian archaeologist Luigi Pernier during excavations at the ancient Minoan site of Phaistos on the island of Crete, the disc is of fired clay measuring about 16 centimeters in diameter. Featuring a spiral of stamp symbols on both sides, the Phaistos disc is adorned with 241 pictograms arranged in a spiral pattern, forming an undeciphered script. The symbols depict various animals, humans, and abstract shapes, and their purpose and meaning remain elusive. The intricate nature of these symbols and the absence of similar writing systems challenge our understanding of ancient languages and communication methods. The mystery deepens as the researchers grapple with origins and purpose of the Phaistos disc. Its discovery in the ruins of the Minoan Palace of Phaistos, a site rich in archaeological significance, adds complexity. The lack of similar artifacts or corroborating evidence leaves scholars puzzled about the cultural context and function of this disc. The material composition of the disc is made of fired clay. It aligns with the common practices of the Minoan civilization. However, the intricacies of the symbols and the absence of any known parallel writing system challenge established norms. The uniqueness of the disc has led to various theories about its purpose, of course, ranging from religious or ceremonial object to a form of ancient writing that is yet to be deciphered. Efforts to decode the symbols on the disc have been ongoing for decades, with no consensus reached among scholars. The absence of a bilingual text or a key to the symbols hinder any progress in decipherment, leaving this disc as one of the most significant undeciphered scripts from the ancient world. Number 5. The Rungo Rungo Tablets The Rungo Rungo Tablets, an enigmatic collection of artifacts from Easter Island, stands as a silent witness to a mysterious chapter in human history. Discovered by European explorers in the late 19th century, these intricately carved wooden tablets have become symbols of an ancient script that remains undeciphered. The term Rongo Rongo itself is derived from the Rapa Nui language of Eastern Island. The precise meaning of the term remains elusive, mirroring the overall enigma of the tablets. These objects, numbering about 25, are characterized by their unique features. They're small, flat, and rectangular wooden boards, with one face often carved with intricate glyphs and symbols. The reverse side is typically left blank. 
The history of these tablets is steeped in mystery. Their discovery is credited to various sources, but it's widely accepted that the first recorded encounter with the tablets happened in 1864, when a missionary named Eugene Urad claimed to have witnessed islanders using them. The actual finding of the tablets, however, is attributed to a French naval officer, Captain Jean-Baptiste Dutrobomier, in 1872. The mystery surrounding these tablets is multifaceted. The glyphs and symbols carved into the wood have defied attempts at decipherment for over a century. The lack of linguistic context and the limited number of extant texts contribute to a challenge of unlocking the secrets contained within these inscriptions. These tablets were found in various locations on Easter Island, primarily in caves such as the Anakai Tangata Cave and the Anaokeke Cave. These locations, with their inherent isolation and connection to the island's ancient culture, have fueled speculation about the purpose and significance of these tablets. Some theories suggest that they were used for religious or ceremonial practices, while others propose a link to the island's societal structure or navigational systems. Deciphering the Rongo Rongo script has proven to be an elusive goal. Various attempts, including linguistical, statistical, and comparative methods have been made, but none have produced a universally accepted solution. The lack of a keystone, a Rosetta Stone, or a comparable bilingual text remains a substantial obstacle in the quest to understand the messages encoded in the glyphs. Number 4. The Copper Scroll The Copper Scroll is a fascinating relic from antiquity. It emerges as a distinctive chapter in the narrative of the Dead Sea Scrolls. Unlike its parchment counterparts, this scroll is unique in its composition and content. Unearthed in 1952 at the Qumran archaeological site near the Dead Sea, the Copper Scroll has puzzled scholars and ignited intrigue with its unusual material and the enigmatic information it purports to convey. The Copper Scroll derives its name from its distinctive composition. It's a roll of thin copper sheets rather than typical parchment or papyrus utilized for most ancient scrolls. Measuring about 8 feet in length, the metal surface is inscribed with Hebrew letters, forming a detailed inventory of hidden treasures believed to be valuable temple artifacts, gold and silver. The mystery surrounding the Copper Scrolls is deeply entwined with its exceptional material and the nature of the treasures it purportedly describes. The discovery of the scroll took place in a Cave 3 at the Qumran site, part of the larger collection of the Dead Sea Scrolls uncovered in the mid-20th century. The Dead Sea Scrolls consist of various Jewish texts dating back from the Second Temple period, providing an unparalleled insight into the religious and societal milieu of ancient Judaism. The Copper Scroll, however, stands apart due to its metallic composition and the intriguing catalog of treasures it presents. The mystery deepens as scholars grapple with the authenticity and purpose of the Copper Scroll. Unlike the theological and literary content of other Dead Sea Scrolls, this metallic relic reads more like a treasure map listing specific locations and quantities of valuable items. Its origins and purpose have sparked numerous theories ranging from the practical to the esoteric. Some suggest it even served as an inventory or a guide to hidden treasures, while others propose a symbolic or allegorical interpretation. The Copper Scroll challenges conventional notions of ancient record-keeping and the materials used for such purposes. While the Copper Scroll adds a layer of complexity to our understanding of the Dead Sea Scrolls and the society that produced them, deciphering its true purpose remains an ongoing challenge. The catalog of treasures it describes has yet to be recovered, leaving the tantalizing question of whether the information it contains is rooted in historical reality or represents a symbolic or speculative aspect of ancient culture. Number 3. The Nebra Sky Disk The Nebra Sky Disk is an ancient alleged celestial artifact. Discovered in 1999 by treasure hunters in the Ziegelroda Forest near Nebra in Germany, this bronze disk transcends its materiality to unlock mysteries of the past. Crafted around 3,600 years ago during the Bronze Age, the Nebra Sky Disk is a flat, circular plate measuring around 12 inches in diameter. It's made of bronze with a distinctive green patina that's developed over the millennium. Its surface is adorned with a complex arrangement of gold applications representing celestial features such as the Moon, Sun, stars, and the Pleiades Cluster. Two golden arcs on the disk are believed to symbolize the solar and lunar phases. The name Nebra Sky Disk is derived from the location of its discovery, underscoring a connection to the town of Nebra in Germany. This serendipitous find occurred when looters stumbled upon the artifact while illegally excavating the site. 
Subsequent investigations revealed that the disc had likely been part of a larger ceremonial ensemble, offering a bit of a glimpse into the astronomical and symbolic knowledge of its creators. The disc holds some profound significance in challenging our understanding of ancient cultures. Its representation of celestial bodies coupled with an accurate depiction of the Pleiades suggests a sophisticated understanding of astronomy during the Bronze Age. Now, this defies conventional perceptions of early societies as primitive or lacking in scientific knowledge. The mystery surrounding the disk isn't limited to its celestial depictions. The circumstances of its discovery involving illicit excavation and the subsequent black market trade added some layers of complexity to its history. Authorities intervened to recover the artifact, leading to investigations that eventually unveiled its significance and historical importance. In terms of cultural and historical challenges, the disc compels us to reconsider assumptions about the capabilities of ancient civilizations. It does serve as a tangible testament to the intellectual sophistication of Bronze Age cultures, challenging preconceived notions. This artifact's significance reverberates through time, inviting us to contemplate the skies and the mystery held within the bronze contours of this ancient celestial marvel. Number 2. Ulfbert Swords It may sound like an ancient blade of Middle Earth, but the Ulfbert Swords are very, very real. The Ulfbert Swords, relics from the Viking Age, have cut a unique niche in the annals of archaeological discovery. Unearthed from various locations across Europe, these swords have become iconic symbols of craftsmanship and mystery, offering a glimpse into the material culture of the Norse people during the medieval period. The history of the Ulfbert Swords begins with their discovery, scattered across archaeological sites associated with Viking activity. These swords, renowned for their superior quality, were often found in burials, graves, and hoards dating back to the 9th to 11th centuries. These swords derive their name from an inscription found on many of them, bearing the distinctive mark Ulfbert, or a slight variation. The mystery behind the swords lies in their exceptional quality and the enigma of their production. Studies and metallurgical analysis have revealed that these swords were crafted from high-quality crucible steel, a material known for its strength and flexibility. This is a remarkable feat considering the historical context. The Viking Age marked a time when iron was predominantly used for weaponry, and the sophisticated steel-making techniques of the Ulfbert swords were far ahead of their time. The metallurgical composition challenges traditional narratives about medieval blacksmithing. The crucible steel used in their production, often referred to as Damascus steel, was the technology thought to have been developed centuries later. The presence of such advanced metallurgical knowledge among the Norse people defies expectations, and it does highlight their skill in working with materials to create weapons of unparalleled quality. These swords, marked with the Elfbert inscription, also possess a degree of standardization. This suggests a centralized production or branding process, indicating a level of organization and commercialization in the manufacturing of these weapons. These swords, therefore, not only reflect superior craftsmanship, but also imply a sophisticated economic and industrial aspect to the Viking Age blacksmithing trade. While there is still a level of mystery surrounding these swords, we do know that the Ulfbert swords were highly sought after, not only for their superior quality, but also for the prestige associated with wielding such a weapon. The Ulfbert name became a brand synonymous with excellence in weaponry during the Viking Age. Number 1. The Voynik Manuscript The most mysterious archaeological artifact also just happens to be the coolest. The Voynik Manuscript, a cryptic book of unknown origin and content, stands as one of the most perplexing mysteries in the realm of historical manuscripts. Named after the rare book dealer Wilfred Voynich, who acquired it in 1912, this mysterious document has eluded decipherment and captivated the imaginations of scholars and enthusiasts since its discovery. The manuscript, believed to have been created in the early 15th century, consists of 240 vellum pages filled with intricate illustrations and an indecipherable script that defies linguistic analysis. The text, written from left to right, exhibits characteristics of structured language, yet efforts to decipher it have proven futile. A significant portion of the manuscript is dedicated to botanical drawings. These illustrations depict various plants, some of which appear to be real, while others are fantastical and don't correspond to any known species. The detailed renderings of roots, leaves, and flowers add a botanical dimension to the manuscript, and attempts to identify the depicted plants have proven challenging. 
Another prominent theme is astronomical and cosmological imagery. Celestial bodies such as the sun and moon are depicted in various sections of the manuscript. Circular diagrams resembling star charts or celestial maps are also present, and it also features drawings of human figures often shown engaging in mundane or unexplained activities. Additionally, there are illustrations of nude figures immersed in water, most likely just taking a bath. Drawings of interconnected tubes and pipes, sometimes resembling biological structures, further contribute to the eclectic mix of imagery. One of the notable aspects of the Voynich manuscript is the uniqueness of its writing system. The script, consisting of an estimated 25 to 30 characters, has resisted all attempts at translation, stumping cryptographers, linguists, and historians. The lack of any known key or bilingual text compounds the challenge, leaving the manuscript's content locked behind a linguistic barrier that's yet to be breached. Numerous theories have been proposed to unravel the enigma of the Voynich manuscript. Some suggest it represents an early form of cryptography or a sophisticated cipher intended to protect valuable knowledge. Others posit it may be a religious or alchemical text veiled in secrecy due to the controversial nature of its content. Despite these conjectures, the true nature of the manuscript remains shrouded in uncertainty. The manuscript's coolness factor, though, extends beyond its content to the intrigue of its history, its journey from obscurity to prominence passing through the hands of different collectors, mirrors a narrative worthy of a mystery novel. The efforts of scholars, cryptographers, and amateur sleuths to unlock its secrets provide an ongoing saga of intellectual pursuit, with each generation hoping to be the one to crack the code. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you to our channel members.